Hello and welcome to my review of the Boardman race or road race. Um, before I start, obviously, these are the views of myself and nobody else, so you know what I mean. Don't sue me or anything, but there we are. Okay, so this is my third bike I've bought from Alfords in one year. First bike was a Carrera Vengeance limited edition mountain bike, which I bought and I found I was spending most of my time riding around on the road on a mountain bike, so I thought by a uh, road bike. So I decided to get a, a Carrera PDF limited edition road bike, £299, supposed to be in £449 or so I would say, but there we are. And obviously I've sold them two now and been without the bike for 11 days, did, couldn't decide which one to get, so back down Alfords I went, because Alfords had this on offer for £584.99p. Well, actually, they got £100 off. It's supposed to be £749.99p, £100 off. Plus, I found a voucher code on the internet for extra 10% off. So, I added it for £584.99p, which is quite a good price, I think. It's a bit extravagant for me, but I'm open to have this bike for quite a while. Okay. The first thing I noticed when I went into Alfords, bought the bike, set up ready for me, was... This bike came with a lovely, well, I say lovely, it's a pack, uh, a user manual, uh, breakdown sheets of all parts, and a couple of plastic bits for there, I don't know where they go. And obviously I didn't get this with the Carrera, I don't know whether you pay more money you get some lovely booklets, but there we are, something to read. Teach me about the parts of the bike. Okay. I've had this bike just over 24 hours now. And wrapped it. First thing I had to do was adjust the handlebars. Because they were in quite a funny... They were at quite a funny angle. So I have had to adjust the angle to suit myself. I've already been out on a test ride. Um, of approximately 20 miles, about 6 miles uphill and found it quite a stiff ride um, this is a large frame 55 centimeters on the board man I had a large Carrera which is 58 centimeters I'm 5 foot 9 but I thought the medium was just a bit cramp so this is probably the largest for my size I think it's just right. And I'll start with the bike from the back. Wheels, uh, first thing I noticed from looking at these wheels in the Carrera wheels is, well, the tyres at least are a much better quality. The tyres on the Carrera just leave a lot to be desired. They split after a couple of weeks and Hope these these look like they're gonna last a lot longer. Is a lot more tread on this one. Bit more drag on on the road because of that, but I feel a lot safer, especially going downhill. Um, did have a bit of trouble getting into the lowest, the smallest cog today. I think it just needs a bit of adjusting. We'll get the screwdriver out. Whatever. Gives me a chance to have a potch. So it's good, quite a good looking bike, which always helps. It does look black, but I think it's more of a navy blue. Okay. Again, I did have a bit of trouble getting onto the uh, largest chain ring today um, when I was riding along. The derailleur was rubbing on the chain. So, I put it back on the smallest cog, and I will adjust it tomorrow probably, or later on. But nothing to worry about. Coming over here, I see the British flag, which I assume means it was made in Britain, but when I turned the bike over to have a look at the serial number or frame number, I seen it was made in Taiwan. There we are. 
nothing against Taiwan, if anybody's watching. Um, pedals, standard set with clips, which I did use today, and I do prefer clipless, but uh, like I said, I splashed out of this now, and I have no money left to buy a set of clipless pedals, but I know Alfred's got a deal on 26.99 Shimano, so speak nice to the wife and see what happens. But they, oh, they were all right. I kept fidgeting my feet and all that, and but with a bit of luck, they won't be on it too long, too much longer. But then I'll put up with it for now. Coming up to the seat, it's a similar seat shape seat to the seat on the Carrera. I know a lot of people said the Carrera seat was uncomfortable, but being 15 stone, I got a bit of extra padding on the rear end, so didn't really bother me. Brakes, pretty good, gotta say. Go down some steep hills on my regular ride, and like today, did me quite well, I gotta say. But being brand new brake blocks, I would have expected that anyway, but yeah, very good. Like I said, this is a large. Boardman race and quite to reach to the handlebars, but I prefer the more of a crouched position when I'm riding. Like I said, I've taken all the reflectors off, but I have left the bell on because it does come in handy, especially in wheels and cheap on roads. Um, I did think the Gear changer, whatever it's called, is does look a bit cheap, but I don't know. It does its job, doesn't it? But I gotta give one recommendation to the Portman people. When I was riding, I heard this very annoying rattle, and I thought it was the wheel spokes, and I thought it was the gears, but I found out there's this little plastic bit here, which keeps the two cables together and I was rattling something terrible which is very annoying when you're on a nice quiet road. I'm glad I found out what the rattle was and I'll probably take that off. Okay, coming down to the carbon forks. Whoopee, carbon. <laughs> this is the first carbon anything I've touched. And I think it's aluminium frame or alloy, whatever. Carbon, but it uh, probably doesn't make much of a difference. I noticed coming down hill mine, I don't know if the aerodynamics of the forks, uh, whatever, or, but I did find a much safer and more stable ride on this bike. It did feel much safer. Um, like I said, it's quick release on these wheels, as you would expect. And another little tip. I know you can get little stickers to put, to stop the cables marking the frames, because the only reason I know this marks the frames is because when I tried selling my Carrera on the internet, I, when I cleaned it up I found big marks where the cable had worn away the paint, so I stuck a bit of sticky tape here yeah, and I'll probably keep changing that every time I see a bit of wear. Frame colour is like a metallic-y blue actually, navy blue, you think it's black on when you first look at them. And there it is. Like I said, RRP £749.99 and I picked it up for £584.99. Hopefully she'll last me until I get a bit bored, but hopefully that won't be for a while. Try and keep it as new as possible. I know it's in the living room at the moment, but um, I don't think I'll be allowed to keep it here for much more, much longer. And nothing else to say really, but... Uh, if you're thinking about you, and this is the reason why I did the video, because I couldn't find much on YouTube on the Boardman race. And I'll try and do a video when I'm actually on the bike to talk you through a few things if you're interested, and that's it. I tried making this about 10 minutes long and it's 9 minutes 53 so I better get out of here. So I hope this helps somebody choose their bike and bye for now.